I'd just like us to share briefly on something that concerns all of us. It's going to be a very brief sharing from the book of James. We are going to read from James chapter 4 verse 10. James 4 verse 10 in which we are told, Humble yourselves before the Lord and he will exalt you. Humble yourself before the Lord and he will exalt you. We are just going to share briefly on the topic, humility pays. Humility pays. You know, most of the time we are faced with a situation where we want God to exalt us. We want God to uplift us. We want God to bless us. We want God to take us to another level, especially as we are transitioning from 2020 into 2021. We are doing everything possible to right our wrongs, to correct the mistakes that we have made in the past, to make sure that we don't repeat the mistakes that we have made, to make sure that the errors, the difficulties, the challenges that we encountered through 2020 are corrected and amended so that we enter 2021 with a clean slate on the right note. But one thing that I want us to understand tonight, even as we prepare to get into 2021, is the fact that humility pays is the fact that when we are humble, when we come to total agreement, when we come to total submission, when we come to total acceptance of the fact that we cannot do it on our own, we can do all things only through Christ who strengthens us, then we are making ourselves candidates for upliftment. The Bible says we should humble ourselves. It is our responsibility to submit our will to God, to follow God's instructions, to follow God's directives. That is exactly what humility is. That is exactly what being humble is. That is putting aside your will, putting aside your plan, your purpose, your objective, your arrangement, your projects, and making sure that it is the will of God. It is the purpose of God. It is the plan. It is the directives of God that are evident, that are manifest in your life, in my life. You know, like a child, a child can want something. The child will not know the implications of the things that he or she wants. All he or she knows is that he wants maybe sweets. He wants maybe juice. He wants maybe this or that. But as the parent, you will begin to consider that, no, this is not the right time for this child to get this thing. Maybe if the child has too much of it, because even sweet things do kill. If the child has a lot of sweets, it will destroy the child's teeth. And so it is the parent's place to come to explain to the child that, okay, you cannot have it the way you want it at the time when you want it because there are negative consequences. Sometimes the child will cry. Sometimes the child will be naughty. Sometimes the child will lament. The child will become grumpy. But as a parent, you will see to it that sometimes you will give the child and sometimes you will not give the child. That is what humility does to us as children of God. Humility gives us the opportunity to remember that we are children of God. And so we sometimes want the things that we want, but because we do not have a, the, the full view of the big picture, because we do not fully understand what it is that God expects of us or the things, the obstacles, the difficulties that are ahead of us, things don't go our way. God gives us the things that he gives us at the time that he gives us, at the way that he gives us. Because Jeremiah 29 verse 11 has made it clear that God's plans for us are plans of good and not of evil. Plans to bring us to an expected end and not an unexpected end. James 1.17 makes it clear that every good and perfect gift comes from God. God is not able to give us the things that are not good for us, the things that are not beneficial for us, the things that we don't need, the things that will destroy us at the point in time when we need them. God will give us the right things at the right time in the right way. The Bible says in Matthew 7 verse 9 that if earthly parents, bad as they are, know how to give good deeds to, or good things to their children, how much more will the Heavenly Father give his spirit to those who ask? If the Spirit of God is in us, the Spirit of God will give us the ability, will give us the grace, will give us the ease, will give us the understanding of what it means to be humble, of what it means to submit, to subject our will, our imperfect will 
to the perfect will of God. Humility is different from humiliation. The Bible says in the book of 1 Peter that we should humble ourselves, therefore, under the mighty hands of God. For us to humble ourselves is our responsibility. It's something that we are expected to do. It is our duty. It is our place. God expects us to humble ourselves. God expects us to submit, to subject, to succumb, to hand over everything, to surrender everything of ourselves to him so that he can uplift us. If we don't humble ourselves, God will humiliate us. When we begin to get proud, when we begin to get ahead of ourselves and think that we are too important, we know it all, we have it all. When we begin to act like Herod in the book of Acts, who dressed like a god and people were calling him a god, and instead of shutting them down, he said, no, continue. God disgraced him, brought him down and was eaten immediately by maggots. That is a clear example of humiliation. Humiliation is what will bring shame. Is what will bring pain. Is what will bring disgrace. Is what will bring negative consequences. Look at the example of King Nebuchadnezzar. He so thought that he was a god and God brought him down. Not just to the level of servants or slaves. To the level of a beast. To a point where in the field he was eating grass like animals. That is what happens when God humiliates us. The Bible says we should humble ourselves. If you and I can get to a point where we know that we are nothing without God. If you and I can get to the point where we get to the understanding that all that we are and have is from God, belongs to God, is hinged on God. Then we will pray like Jesus in Gethsemane. I say, Lord, this is my will. But however, let not my will be done. But let thy perfect will be done. Because God's perfect will is always to bring us glory. God's perfect will is always to uplift us. God's perfect will is always to give us victory. God's perfect will is always to give us that Isaac, even after the mistake of Ishmael. The Bible says that we should humble ourselves and God will exalt us. The problem with this, our generation, is that we want to exalt ourselves and I don't know the place that God has in the matter. When we have already exalted ourselves, pride will come in. And then at the end of the day, pride goes before it falls. The Bible says God opposes the proud but gives grace to the humble. We need to be humble so that God will not oppose us. The thing that caused Lucifer to lose his place in heaven was not immorality, was not the love of money, was not the love of this or that. It was pride. Lucifer began to see himself as a god. And because God is a jealous God, because God cannot share his glory with any man, he cast Lucifer and his agents where they are today. If we need to get into 2021, right, we need to get our priorities in order. We need to come to terms with the fact that humility is key. Humility pays. Humility is what will take us to where God wants us to be. Because pride goes before a fall. We need to understand that when we, when we are humble, when we, are, we, we, we manifest humility, it is a sign of telling God that we are grateful for the things that he has blessed us with. We appreciate the things that he has given us. After all, the things that we are even supposed to be boastful or bragging about, all of it comes from God because God is the giver of all good things. When we become humble, we will acknowledge the fact that all the things that we are able to do is as a result of divine empowerment in our lives. All the English, all the sharing, all the prophecy, all the intercession, all the this and that that we are able to do, even for kingdom service, is as a result of divine empowerment. When we think of these things, it will prevent us from getting ahead of ourselves. Humility will also make us to understand that we have our weaknesses. We have weaknesses that make us human. Yes, we are children of God. Yes, we are saved. Yes, we are redeemed. Yes, we are believers. Yes, we are followers of Christ. But because we are still in the flesh, because we are still in the body, we have our weaknesses. That is why Apostle Paul says that the good that he wants to do, he doesn't do it. But the evil that he doesn't want to do, he finds himself doing it. 
Our weaknesses are different as our faces are different. But this is not for us to turn our backs on Christ or this is not for us to get discouraged or give up on the faith. This is for us to understand that in humility, God's grace is sufficient for us as it was sufficient even for Apostle Paul. If we don't have these weaknesses, we will begin to get ahead of ourselves. We will begin to feel too important. We will begin to feel too relevant. We will begin to feel that we don't need God. We will begin to feel that we are indispensable. So these weaknesses come so that we will keep ourselves in check. So that we will remember that at every point in time, we need God. That is why upliftment does not come from the east or from the west. It comes from God Almighty who is able to uplift one today and bring down the other. We need to be humble. We need to acknowledge the fact that in humility, our needs are met. Our needs are not met because we make our requests known to God. No, our needs are met because we come to terms with the fact that we cannot provide our needs. By the way, we don't even know what we need. Sometimes we think that this is what we need. But God who knows us, who created us right from our mother's womb, who knew us even before we came, to become what we have become, knows our needs better than we do. And that is why the Bible says in Philippians that God will supply all our needs. He will not provide. The Bible did not say he will provide. The Bible says he will supply. It means that where there is demand, God will make available supply for our respective needs. But for us to access the supply of God, we need to be humble. We need to come to the terms or come to terms with the fact that all that we need is in the hands of God. If he can provide food for the birds of the air who neither sow nor reap or keep in bands, then how much more we who are made in his image. When we become humble, we will not be bothered about our needs. We will not be bothered about the things we will eat, drink or wear because we know that our heavenly father has gotten that covered. When we are humble, we will cause ourselves or we will remind ourselves to testify of the goodness of God. Because we know that the Bible says in Revelation that they overcame by the blood of the Lamb and the word of their testimony. That testimony of the things that God has done in your life, in my life, through 2020 might just be an encouragement, might just be a motivation, might just be a push, might just be a trigger for us to continue to dwell under the mighty hands of God, to humble ourselves under the mighty hands of God because we know that he is the same yesterday, today and forever. If he did it for us through 2020, he will do much more for us through 2021. It is not time for us to begin to think that we have it all. We know it all. We need nothing at all. Or that our weaknesses should take us away from God. Or that we are in charge of our upliftment. We are in charge of our exaltation. No. The Bible says in James 4 verse 10 where we read that we should humble ourselves before the Lord and he will exalt us. If we need exaltation, if we need breakthrough, if we need whatever we need, if whatever we need has a name, it is subject to the name of Jesus. And Jesus, who is the role model of humility, the Bible says in 1 Corinthians 8, 9, that the rich that he was, he became poor so that you and I can have access to riches. Let us emulate Jesus' example. Who was God, but did not consider equality a thing to be shared with the Father. He still came and subjected and subdued and humbled himself to the Father. If we need to go far this 2021, if we have to make giant strides this 2021, we need to humble ourselves. We need to get humility as part of the clothes in our wardrobe so that the God who has promised us upliftment, blessings, breakthrough, exaltation and all that we need when we humble ourselves will answer his word in our lives. Because his word is yes and amen. Because his word that has gone forth must accomplish the purpose for which it has been sent. I pray tonight that God will encourage, God will help, God will inspire, God will direct, God will teach us. God will help us and give us all that we need to stay humble. Regardless of how much he has blessed us with. Regardless of how much he's using us to do. Regardless of how bad we think our weaknesses are. Regardless of how much we think our needs are. And regardless of how big we think our testimonies are. May God bless his word in Jesus name. Amen.